Hi, my name is Bobby and I'm a marketing manager on Microsoft Clarity. In this video, we will cover the e-commerce specific features in Clarity, e-commerce insights and conversion maps. There are two main metrics within e-commerce insights. Purchases show the percentage of site sessions resulting in a successful purchase. And products, which not only show a list of the most popular products, but also let you add e-commerce specific filters such as price, availability, and brand to your Clarity data. Quick note, the purchases feature is only available on Shopify sites with Clarity. Product information is only available for sites that use product JSON LD. Let's dive in. Say you have a Shopify site and want to know how many sessions resulted in a purchase. Simply navigate to the purchases card in the dashboard. Here, you can view the percent of sessions that resulted in a purchase. Click the recordings button to view recordings of those sessions with purchases. If you want to see a list of your most popular product pages for your site, just navigate to the dashboard card. Again, you can easily view heat maps and recordings from this card. Adding e-commerce specific filters are a powerful way to zero in on specific sessions that you care about the most. Here, you can add filters based on price of viewed product, brand, product name, availability, whether the viewed product was in stock or not, average user rating, number of ratings, and whether a purchase occurred. Combine these filters with over 40 other filters available to you in Clarity. Be sure to watch our separate videos all about filters to learn more. Conversion maps are a specific type of area map just for your e-commerce sites. If you are unfamiliar with heat maps, be sure to check out our separate video where we dive deeper. With conversion maps, you will understand how website interactions affect your purchase rate. Conversion maps display the conversion rate, which is the percentage of all sessions that resulted in a purchase when a user clicks in a selected area. To access this, navigate to the heat map section and select the conversion map. From here, you can create custom areas. Select the edit areas button to switch from viewing to editing the conversion maps. Hover over the heat map to select an area and the click through rate for the new area is calculated on the fly. Select exit edit when you are done. The left panel contains the list of areas ordered by number of purchases. Select any element to view the click-through rate for the entire area. The bottom bar shows you the total number of purchases and the total number of sessions along with a color scale that indicates high to low click-through rate. You can also view recordings of purchase sessions where users clicked in a specific area by selecting the recording icon. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.